Now, don't be alarmed, it's just a ball of string. Now, some while ago, I challenged my viewers, would they draw for me surprise elementals? Yes, could they graphically illustrate the element of surprise, as might be encountered, for instance, by a, a fantasy quasi-medieval adventurer in some dungeon-based roleplay gaming adventure? And they did. And so this video is a gallery of the entries. Uh, now, these did actually um, form identifiable groups. I could categorise them. And the first of these groups is as follows. Somewhere in a game that Lloyd doesn't like because it features turn-based combat, it is the wizard's turn. I summoned the element of surprise! Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! And to be honest, in this sort of competition, I sort of did a bit. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Effenberg. This one you see is an exclamation mark dressed up as Cardinal Biggles, and apparently that head is the head of some character from a thing called Dexter, and he says surprise a lot or something. For sheer penmanship, I think this one might be the pick of the Spanish Inquisition bunch, although I'm not sure he's got all the stuffing up one end of that cushion. A huge trio of serpentine creatures who seem to be startling this chap quite a bit. So thank you, Dominic Scherkel and Johannes... Bloke. Don't know your surname. Sorry. Now, some people I felt cheated in that they sent in photographs from the Spanish Inquisition sketch, or the Trouble at Mill sketch, which I believe is its proper title, and uh, all of those I disqualified on the grounds that they just sent in a photograph. Uh, for one thing, I can't show the photograph because it's copyrighted, and another thing, I can't make someone a winner who's just sent in a photograph over someone else who's gone to all the trouble of drawing a picture. You understand that, don't you? Anyway, even if you don't understand, you are disqualified. Now we're on to the jack-in-the-boxes, and I think I like this one more because it's drawn on graph paper. It makes me fondly imagine that uh, some very boring class at school was enlivened. Yes, where is your helmet? If you're going to fight a fight, wear a helmet. Now, this jack-in-the-box is a vampire party hat-wearing purple-haired jack-in-the-box with huge boxing gloves flying out of her breasts on the end of springs. And you don't see that every day. I think I've worked out how this creature kills its prey. With tentacles and giant exclamation marks and, and arrows and so forth, it startles someone who opens a, a chest and then they turn round and run straight into a wall, which is in fact an extension of the creature itself. Ah, here's another Jack in the Box version. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I'd say one thing that's very surprising here is that Emmanuel Axelson is 38. Now, the next category is the Lurking Monster. This creature surprises its victims by dropping little spiders down their shirt necks. It's an evil, black tentacled thing that sticks to the ceiling in the shadows and smirks. This startled as well as startling elemental was drawn by someone whose name I am not privileged enough to know, but who basks in the glory of an email handle, Decagonalist. This version of the surprise elemental is a small homunculus that lurks behind a highly decorated pot in a dungeon. When people come along and look at the torch on the wall, thinking, what on earth is that doing there? It leaps out and punches them in the groin. At least that's according to its artist. This hideous horror is surprisingly asymmetrical, and how does it get about with no legs? William Selby sent in not one but two designs. The first is an arm-like creature that hides on the ground, looking a bit like a rock, and then when someone passes by, it grabs them by the ankle, pitching them onto their face. Ha-ha! The second is a magical being that can walk through walls and control minds and get people to do things that are reasonably surprising, I imagine. Oh, well, there's a surprise. I've lost someone's name. I'm so terribly sorry. If this is your drawing, uh, tell me who you are and I'll add your name to the video. This creature, beautifully rendered in several tasteful pale shades of beige, is an invisible stalker. Apparently an official monster from the AD&D manual. I rather like this creature. I can see it moving and attacking and being quite terrifying. I've never been attacked by a piece of modern art before. It would, I think you'll admit, be quite startling to be attacked by a great swirling mass of coloured ribbons. I'm wondering if this picture might be better against a dark background. But come on, it's not my duty to draw your pictures for you. I do like it though, thank you. The next category, um, I've decided to call the, uh, what? Category. This one isn't so much an elemental of surprise, more one of stunned bemusement. A French hat, a green cuboid head, bright orange human feet, and the body of a blob. Now this is just art. Look at that, huh? That looks like a book cover. In fact, is it a book cover? Has someone just sent me a, a, a picture of a book? Is there a book called Surprise Elemental? Maybe I should write one. I mean, I've already got the cover. This surprise elemental manifests as a can of shaken up beer that sprays in your face. Yes, very good, but I'm not sure it quite gets into the spirit of the pseudo-medieval dungeon world. This surprise elemental, with its corona of coruscating confetti, has a necklace decorated with octopi, and that's not easy to say. 
Inside its hooded head, it has the face of a brick, and it has a toothbrush and chocolate bar, and there's a rare juxtaposition, and a laser pointer pointing permanently at the sky. Zhang Gao has sent in something quite surprising. Were you expecting someone to draw a picture of a surprise elemental, then crumple the paper up, then uncrumple it again, then photograph it on the reverse side and send that? Or did you expect someone to hand draw on shading to make a piece of paper look as though it's crumpled up? This one at first looked just like a lot of text, far too much for me to read out now, I'm afraid. And at first I was thinking, well, that's not quite in the spirit of things. But then I realised that there's more to it because, aha, you see, it's an animated GIF. But I'm afraid that is quite definitely against the rules. I clearly stated that I do the animations. I wanted still images. So I'm afraid uh, this one is not our winner. Surprise, mother... Moving on. This isn't so much an element of surprise as an element of suspense. The permanently turning page. What will be on the next page? Well, we don't know. Ah, another gif. This box contains a surprise elemental. You will never see it coming. OK, let's wait for it. Still waiting for it. Yeah, this one's not an animated gif. That, that's, that's just it there. That's it. This one, I think you'll agree, is pretty impressive. Uh, over half the picture is taken up by a fireplace, which is rather surprising. And who's this figure here? This is the surprise elemental, you see, in a rounded collar and jumper, sewing. And uh, is that a sparf slicker next to him? Reflected in the very shiny silver shield is a strange blue-skinned creature. Uh, ah, but there she is. And what is she saying? Are you sewing? You see, someone's been watching my videos. Another surprising thing about this image is that I was very curious as to what colour exactly was used for the bright part of the flame, because I want to be able to do that effect. So I loaded it into Adobe Thingamabob, and would you believe it, upon analysis, the colour of the, of, of the flame was 245 RG and B. In other words, it's light grey. Does that look light grey to you? It's amazing, the illusion, isn't it? If you surround something with, with a yellowish glow, then that thing, if it appears to be the light source, will look yellow even if it's not. So is this our worthy winner? I think you'll agree quite a lot of work has gone into this and it's quite impressive. Uh, but can you see the fatal error that the artist made? Well, it's this. You see, I've got a hunch that that's actually meant to be a portrait of me, which suggests that I am the surprise elemental. So. If I make this the winner, it's as though I'm saying to everyone, ha-ha, only this guy got the answer correct, which is that I, I, Lloyd, I, Lindy Beige, am the surprise elemental. Um, and I'm sorry, but that's just an act of such appalling egotism that I can't bring myself to do it. So, excellent though this is, it's not the winner. You got a light, Mac? Um, no, but uh, she's got a mid-beige overcoat. Who has? Um, a young lady over there. Hey, lady, you, you got a light? Why isn't she answering? I don't know. Should we ask her for directions? Oh, I don't like to ask directions. It's, it's so embarrassing. Well, I suppose it couldn't do any harm. <laughs> what? what the devil was that? Uh, she is some foul creature. Clearly it's a creature. Right. Let's just charge it. What? You, you want to charge that? Yes, come on. After me. And... <laughs> oh, 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 my heart. Good. My Great. heart. It's some appalling villainous creature. Right, we're going to charge it again. But, but it's, it's so surprising. Oh, come on, it can't surprise us three times now, can it? So, after me. One, two... Oh, oh my... All right, we won't charge it. And we won't ask it for directions either. And so we have our winner. Well done, Megan. And uh, thank you for sending that in. And now, Megan, you must choose your prize. What would you like me to make a video about uh, by the middle of next month? So get to me the topic you want me to cover, as long as it's, you know, not libelous or naughty or something. And uh, I'll cover it by the middle of next month. It won't be a very long video, but I hope it'll at least be tolerably good. So uh, thank you for everyone uh, who sent in stuff. Um, I may do another competition. Who knows? Um, but I have no idea what it might be. Goodbye. <laughs>